by 2050, around one third of uh, glaciers in World Heritage Sites could uh, disappear. These are mainly sites with a small uh, glacierized uh, area, uh, but these include, for instance, the last remaining glaciers uh, in, in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, the Ruwenzori uh, Mountains, but also some other iconic uh, uh, glaciers, such as the Dolomites uh, here in Italy, as well as uh, Yosemite Park and Yellowstone uh, in uh, the United States. Um, by, by 2100, around half of glaciers in World Heritage Sites could disappear in a business as usual scenario. Every year, World Heritage uh, glaciers are losing 58 billion tons of ice. Uh, this represents the water consumed in France and Spain combined. And also, uh, this represents uh, around 5% of global sea level rise. And I would say that uh, this is uh, particularly uh, warning and alarming because uh, the risks that are implied by this are manifold. Um, this could lead to coastal erosion, uh, for instance, but also uh, a higher risk of uh, cyclones, storms, and uh, tsunamis. I would say that the main action that needs to be taken to counteract glacier retreat is really to re drastically reduce carbon emissions. What happens uh, also is that uh, even if we stop uh, emissions as of today, these glaciers have uh, inertia, no? uh, in the sense that changes will keep happening. And we will definitely need uh, measures at site level to adapt, to adapt to these changes. I would say that uh, World Heritage glaciers are extremely representative because they represent around 10% of all glacierized area in the world. So you can get uh, how important these are. No? When it comes why uh, glaciers? No? Glaciers are, uh, I would say, one of the most valuable and visible uh, indicators of climate change.